Hello everybody, uh, my name is Mitch Tavian and this is another Android Studio tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple bar graph, um, just like the one you see here. I can't really uh, show all its features in the emulator because I can't scale it or zoom or scroll or anything like that because I just have a mouse. Oh, there it did it for some reason. Okay, there we go. Um, so this is going to be using the MP Android um, chart library. It's much easier than... actually it has way more functionality. Uh, what are we going to call this? Simple bar graph, I guess. It has a lot more functionality than um, the other library that I used in my other tutorials, Graph View. Just a lot more features and it's actually probably easier to use even too. So the first, yeah, the first one I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a very simple bar graph here and then um, I'm going to do a second tutorial after this one um, of a more more realistic bar graph that, that you would make. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is we need to we need to get the library so we're going to go to just type mp android chart and it's right here and so we want to scroll down and go right here to usage and add the dependencies and the repository first of all so we'll go to your build.gradle and paste that in here get rid of this this has got to go in here and hit sync so this is the easiest way to do it. There's a couple ways it shows you can do it, but this is the easiest. You just you know, just copy that and paste that in there. So we're good to go. Uh, so the next thing we'll do is you gotta find the documentation link. Here it is right here. So study the documentation wiki. It should take you to this. Uh, so let's go to it. And you have it's actually really good documentation. So you can just look at the look at the legend over here and figure out anything you want to do uh, so what we're going to do is I already cl I clicked on interaction with the chart and there's a bunch of settings here so we are going to go and create our layout uh, so see the bar chart option here and we're going to do match parent for the width and do 400 dp for the height and give this guy a name whoops um, just call it bar graph sure I think that's all you that's all you need to do in your um, in your layout file so we can actually just close that and now we're gonna do a little bit of coding it's very simple so make a bar chart View. And so the first thing we got to do is we got to create an array list of bar entries, which is essentially the y axis data that you're going to enter for it. So we'll just call it bar entries, new array list. And then so the reason why this tutorial is kind of unrealistic is you know, I'll show you right now because the way we're going to enter data is I'm just going to go bar entries dot add new bar entry um, they, have, they have to be floats by the way and then this is the indices so I'm just going to basically add a bunch of data points just like this um, but you know obviously in a real application you're going to this isn't how you're going to add data you're going to have um, like lists coming from SQL or coming from some function or whatever <clears throat> you're not just going to be manually adding adding data like this so in my next tutorial I'm going to show you a more realistic model of how you do this but this is this will just give you an idea of how to how to do it and let's just do 91 sure um, so the next part I think uh, yeah so I forgot to 
uh, say this is going to be dates so you can see the dates on the x-axis here so we're going to do it um, with dates so we're going to create a new array list string type we'll call it the dates oops equals new array list and you do the same thing so the dates dot add let's go what's going on here why is it angry oh because i already declare that no why is that purple that shouldn't be purple uh what have i done I mean, it needs to be purple. Oh, there. I made it outside of the onCreate. There, that's why. Okay, so we'll add April and then just copy that five times, I think I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six data points, just because we have six data points up here. So April, May, June. July, August, September, <clears throat> and we are pretty much done. Um, we just got to do our data, the data, we'll call it, what's new, our data, and then this is where you throw in your, your uh, x-axis and your y-axis. What do I call it? Bar entries, not data entries. Bar entries, there we go. Mm -hmm. And then you just set the data to the chart. So that's it. So you just create an array for the x-axis, an array of bar entries, a bar of bar entry for the uh, y axis, um, why is that red? Should not be red. Oh, forgot to um, create, it, create a data set. Let's create a bar data set. Uh, let's call it a bar data set. Equals new bar data set, and you have to throw your bar entries in here. And this is this is a label, just like that. And then you that's what you pass here. So bar data set. Yeah. So I'm just gonna set a couple settings here. So set touch enabled. All the, so all these settings I'm gonna set here are just these guys. They're just customizable settings that you can set for your graph. And that's that's why I think this. This uh, one of the reasons why this library is better. There's so much more customizability than with um, the graph view library, which I made a tutorial on before. <coughs> like I just I just put out my first app, which was like quadratic equation solver, and it makes a plot. Um, I wish I would have used this library because it, it would have turned out way better. You can't like scroll in the y direction with the other with the other um, library or anything. It's kind of dumb. Okay, so I think that's it. So we can just run this and hopefully it works. This is the old emulator. <clears throat> so yeah, in, in, in the next tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'll, um, I'll create a more realistic data set and, and graph, graph that instead. And what I'll do is I'll create a I'll create a method that takes two dates and will return um, each day between those two dates. So you can create a, a list of dates basically. Okay, so here we go. Is that it? I think that's it. So here we go. You can see that you have all your points and on the x, oops, x axis up here you have your dates that we put in. So uh, yeah, if you like this tutorial, uh, like the tutorial, subscribe. Oh, stupid Facebook. And uh, thanks for watching.